hopefully, uh, if you can hear me, this would be great. Uh, we have uh, come up here a women's tri American title match. This was a match that I guess the promoters wanted to book, folks. It would be uh, Layla Goodnight, the Sao Paulo shooter from Sao Paulo, Brazil, going against our tri American champion, Monica Del Rey. And this is a battle. I guess the fans will be cheering to see who will be the lesser or two evils in this one, folks. But Layla Goodnight has opened up some eyes here in this federation. No doubt about it. And uh, that's the reason why the officials have wanted to jump on this opportunity to give her a shot. Because she did have a title shot for the Simmel Wasteland title. But Sabrina Monaco pinned Melody Torment to, keep, to win that title. Layla Goodnight was... A non-factor in that one, even though she lost, but she has not been pinned. Once again, if you like what's going on here, follow us here on uh, Vampiro0712 on Twitch, man. And check out the video. You want to check out the videos again, go to uh, YouTube underneath Vampiro712. And uh, basically, you know, uh, check out the archives. I know Twitch, I think, has like about 60 days, if I'm correct. They keep them up there. Or a certain number of files, and then they start taking them down when you start adding new ones up. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for joining us, fans. And uh, once again, and we had a network error. Thanks, tw thanks Twitch and Spectrum. Of course, spectrum has been acting up because last night we, uh, over here in Cleveland, I guess, uh, there was a damaged wire somewhere that they had to fix. And so, I'm not surprised maybe we're suffering the aftershock of that. Who knows? You know, virtually we are in New Orleans tonight, but who knows? Maybe New Orleans has got cable problems. Who knows? And here is, here is our silent announcer, JoJo, because we really don't care about what she says. Not too great. I guess none of these announcers are going to be great as a legendary Gary Michael Capetta and uh, Howard Finkel. Those are two great names come up to mind when uh, you got the wrestling announcers. They used to announce a match really well, the combatants in the match. So, but right now we got Layla Goodnight. Yeah, she's all uh, handy and dandy here right now on her entrance, but the thing about it is that when she gets a ring, she means business. Oh my gosh. We're going to see tonight if she can uh, nab herself a Tri American title here tonight. The Fina Monica Del Rey, who's been double freaking tough. Absolute. The coast to coast treat has not turned into a treat for anybody that rustles her. As uh, Del Rey's been knocking her off left and, and del knocking off contenders left and right. I'll tell you that much. And here is Del Rey, of course, with her uh, Mangerous torment. And I say notorious Tracy because she is the one. That's primarily responsible for putting that venom in the brain of one Chaz Foreman. Causing him to go mad once again, folks. And uh, I'll tell you what. And Chaz has been, uh, sub uh, has been struggling with that. No doubt about it. And here's a scary thing about it. Monica Del Rey one time was married to... Uh, one Adam Strange, who's now married to Joe Kenny's daughter, Carla. Carla. Yeah, so uh, just to let you know how that goes. Yeah, Vampiro712 let me in on a secret this week. He uh, 
basically got himself a switch, and he's been playing Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. He says it's he hasn't played anything really brilliant. He hasn't he hasn't played really anything greater than that game. He's like he is like impressed with it. I guess that's what Kitty Cat's been saying, that Joe Kinney's been uh, I mean, uh, well, no, I'm sorry, Vampiro 712. I keep getting those two personalities mixed up. And it is a coast to coast treat. You are right about that, Harold. Great to see you back here. Sorry about the uh, the hiccup. And there is Monica Del Rey. Sorry about that. I'm just doing some house repairs right now. Like I said, virtually New Orleans, but real deal, man, home in Cleveland. Well, Brooklyn, I should say. If everybody wants to know, I know, uh, yeah, so. All right, let's get this one going. This should be an exciting one. Can Layla be the one that sends Monica Del Rey good night on her title reign? That is going to be the big question. All right, she's starting off, but Del Rey, the crafty veteran she is, and oh, Russian leg sweep. Oh my gosh. I think we're not, I think this match should not be nothing short of bad. I'll tell you that much right now. I think this is going to be a damn good matchup between uh, a hungry, uh, a hungry rookie and still, somebody is still young in their prime. Monica Del Rey. And uh, right now, look at that. Oh man, Layla Goodnight not laying up. Oh, but Layla making all kinds of rookie mistakes, as you can tell. Leaving it open for uh, Monica to uh, take advantage of. And look at Monica. Now, this, I would expect this from a rookie, but from a veteran, yeah. Got all timed up, and she paid for it. Got the elbow right in her knee. And right now, Del Rey. Oh, man, Clavis are with a form. I think we've seen that earlier in, uh, when Dana Brooke did the same to Yorichi. Oh, and there's a her. Oh man, going for the pin and Anya at ringside. Layla's good friend. Since she broke into the uh, musty wrestling uh, region, I can tell the reason why because uh, Good Night can take care of herself really well. And there you go, shoving the champion away. And once again, Good Night is off uh, hands and knees on the ground there. And oh, a staggering clothesline by the uh, the shooter herself from Sao Paulo, Brazil. And right now, I'll tell you what, this match has been nothing but it's short of exciting. I'll tell you that much right now. And oh, and there's a clobbering right hand. That would score points in the MAA matchup, no doubt about it. Or a fighting matchup, I'll tell you that much. If there was judges at ringside. And right now, Monica Del Rey, oh, flipping her over. A lot of great counters between these two, no doubt about it. Going for the pin. No, couldn't get it. Oh my gosh. Could not get it. The Coast to Coast Street, I think she's like one of the staples here in this uh, Vixen's Club of Tracy's along with Jerry Missile and along with another uh, former champion that's going to look to see the get her back her uh, Queen of Wasteland title later on tonight, Melody Torment. And there's the coach. Oh, and uh, Good Night gets out of it. It wasn't Good Night for Good Night yet. And good Night in a bad way, I would say. And now uh, Del Rey stomping away, and now there's that modified camel clutch with the uh, knee in the back, or chin lock, whatever you want to call it. Oh, and there she clobbers her with a right hand, and oh, oh man, she is driving an elbow right into that face of Good Night, and Good Night falls, going for the pin. We got Torment looking uh, very confident that uh, she uh, thinks that MDR is going to hook this one up for uh, the Vixen's club. And right now, oh boy, was she... Oh man, and she tried for a choke slam. I mean, okay, yeah. I would never know uh, 
MDR to go for a choke slam, but that was a mistake as uh, Good Knights got her in a leg and arm submission lock. And that looks painful. Oh my gosh. That looks very painful. But she gets out of it like the cagey veteran that she is. And Del Rey now. Oh, there's another staggering forearm to the face. Oh, and Good Knight not letting up here. She just, uh, uh oh, wait a minute. What is she going to do here now? Oh, power bomb. Going for a pinning power bomb. Oh, going for the Boston Crab. Oh, boy. Del Rey may find herself in trouble. Oh, man, are you kidding me? But Del Rey is not going to tap, and uh, knowing a veteran like Del Rey, uh, no. Nah. Not so fast. As I say in those old uh, superhero cartoon uh, shows. And Del Rey now getting kicked in the head, and oh. I think the fans are definitely signing a little good night here. I think it's all because of, uh, maybe because Tracy Torman is in the corner of Monica. Oh, man. Oh. What a back fist, and now a kick. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, but look at that. The KG veteran herself, like, once again. I think there's been a committee ruling. They're talking about maybe up in the count-out limit to 20 instead of 10. Just to let you know on there. And uh-oh. What is she going to do here now? Oh, man. Right, her throat right on the rope. That was brutal. And right now, Layla Goodnight. This is a hell of a matchup between these two, uh, two, uh, these two young... Uh, Vixens in the uh, Federation. Oh, and there's a clothesline over the top. Oh my gosh. Loyola Goodnight sends Del Rey over the top. Oh my gosh. And go along one right now. And oh man. I think she might hurt herself more than she hurt Del Rey. Holy cow, folks. And Del Rey now in a little bit of trouble here. And oh, Del Rey throws it back in. Hold on here a second. Oh, man. That was nasty. Oh, and there's a kick. And now Del Rey sends Good Night in the corner. Oh, and another forearm. We've seen a lot of those, man. I think she is. You're right about that, Harold. Could this be a, could twice be nice for the uh, coast to coast suplex? And referee taking his little time there, but it doesn't matter. Del Rey defies everything, defeats the shooter to retain her title. Wow, Monica Del Rey. I'll tell you that much right now. Fiston's club so far is one for one tonight. Can he go two for two and uh? Meldy faces off Meldy Torment faces off against Sabrina Monaco. That's gonna be the big hundred thousand dollar question, but please don't get that correct because I don't have a hundred thousand dollars. Wow. Monica Del Rey, she is like the uh, quintessential staple of that Vixens club that Tracy Torment's got. I'll tell you that much. Unbelievable. Great matchup, I'll tell you that much, nonetheless. And right there, there was those kicks, and I thought, I thought a few of those wearing down uh, Monica Del Rey would have done it, but good night, unfortunately went good night. And there is Del Rey right there. And, oh, look at that. What arrogance. Good match was, we didn't know which way it was gonna go. I thought Del Rey might have met her in. She uh, defies the fans and all of us here in the broadcasting booth wrong. And anybody that says that Del Rey is going to win, uh, you know what? I got to admit, you were correct. All right, folks. Let's get this going here. Ah, Shotzi Blackheart. She must be coming out to announce 
Who is she going to wrestle? She was the winner of the St. Patty's Day Battle Royal at, uh, last Tuesday. And uh, rightfully so, I guess. Uh, shamrocks are green. Her hair is green. So there you go. Maybe it was, in the, it was in the air to win it. The extra money that she earned for that win was green? Hey. Except the cup, except the St. Patty's Day cup was gold. But she gives us a side tonight. She goes against uh, Sarah Perry or Jerry Missile for a future match. Yeah. And when, I don't know, it's when uh, both sides can uh, decide on it. That's all up to both sides of the negotiation table. All right. I'll tell you that much right now. Uh oh, we're going to get to the ring right now. So we got Shotzi Blackheart. And then afterwards, we got Meacher against the Blue Arrow for the Tri American title. And that'll be the end of uh, segment one, even though it's split up in two parts because Spectrum and Twitch decided to mess up. How, how wondrous. And there is Shotzi Blackheart right there, folks. The ballsy badass from the Black Lagoon. And excuse my bluntness, I gotta say that because that was her name in the Indies. Oh, how exciting. Oh, man. I feel happy. I mean, I won the biggest rumble of them all. The St. Paddy's Day Brawl. And now I get to choose who I want to go against. And this is, and thanks to you fans, you have, I'm going to not let you down when I choose my thing. Oh, woo, woo. And let me tell you something right now, fans. I have chosen. I want to go against Sarah Perry. This woman's been running around, running her mouth like she's a goddess. And she does have the luck, she does have the skill, but on any day, lady, you, anybody can be beaten. And I'll tell you what, I mean, uh, I'm going to be uh, wanting that uh, title shot. And you know what? Whenever you want it, please let me know. Because I'm ready to, I'm ready to kick your little fancy little derriere in the ground. And I'll tell you that much right now. I have fought for this for all my career. I have uh, through NXT. I have gone into championship wrestling from Hollywood. I have gone into a short trip on Impact. I have grinded through this and that and everything else. And I'll tell you what. <laughs> and Harold is saying it was fixed. I don't know. I don't know about that. It was, uh, you know, it was surprising to see her win against uh, Sakura Miura. So that means Miura is going to be uh, gearing for a title, a future universal title match with Jerry Missile. And uh, here comes the director, Michelle Marquis, the, the bubbly director of Glamourland. Yeah. Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, it might be. I, yeah, Sarah Shotzi Blackheart can win against Sarah Perry. Do you know what? That'd be a major achievement in her hat, but they said the director might have something else to say. Shotzi Blackheart. What? What? What makes you think you're ready for the goddess of all wrestling? The queen? The, the empress? The destroyer of all talent and Sarah Perry you know I'll tell you that much right now you and that green hair you know what if you were allowed in glamour land if I was allowed in glamour I wouldn't go in that million dollar stink pit if I even wanted to let me tell you that much right now Michelle you know you should have stayed with the uh, management that was a guaranteed job there in must see wrestling I have a lot of respect for you, but all of a sudden, you turn your back on everybody. Yeah, and you think, let me tell you something right now. Before you cut me off, lady, you know what? You would have to shave that head first or else dye your hair a normal color, okay? Because you know what? Green is for the, for the ugly glam punk rock scene, you know? Uh, let me tell you that much right now. You need to be glamorous in order to join. 
Well, if being glamorous is up to your standards, what you look like, Marquis, and you uh, and Sarah Perry, I don't want to be glamorous. I want it to stand out on my own. That's the reason why whenever Sarah Perry wants to defend that title against me, I'll be ready for it. And when I defeat her, I'm going to become the champion that the fans want. Well, I just got off the phone with Sarah Perry. Let me tell you that much right now. And you know what? I got news for you. I hope you're prepared because next Tuesday, you will get your tail shot. And you better be prepared. You better watch all the videotapes. You better go watch all the Rocky films. You better go watch all the underdog karate kid movies and everything else. Oh, my gosh. You're using those lines against me. You think I'm some kind of underdog. You know what? I'm somebody that has fought my way to the top like I was telling the fans. I, you know, let me tell you that much right now. And I'll tell you what. Michelle Marquis, you know. Maybe I'll pull that t-shirt over your head and, and beat you down. Oh, I dare you to do that, sweetheart. I'm not an official wrestler, so if you would do that to me, I would put the biggest lawsuit on you in history. I will make sure that you you could not even uh, buy a junker to get to your cards. I will make sure that you cannot even buy a uh, fast food 59 cent cheeseburger to satisfy your hunger. More idle threats. I'll tell you what, Marky. I'm going to tell you what. Yeah, you know what? Oh! Oh! Man! Oh my gosh! She just, no way, she just slapped Mark. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, no. Oh. Are you kidding me? And she, oh, man. Ooh, shades of Jeff Hardy right there. Are you, oh, and Marquis now. Oh, Marquis shows some skill. Oh, my gosh. She must be training in the, in the uh, school of Sarah Perry. I'm in, I gotta admit, that was, pretty, that was pretty impressive for somebody that has not even went into wrestling ring. But she says rumors is that, rumors is that she may get into the wrestling ring. Who knows? Oh, right well, on her arm. Are you kidding me? Oh, God. Ooh, man. Bangs both knees. Ouch. Double knee banger. And Shotzi. Wow. Showing some vengeance against Michelle Marquis. Oh, boy. I wonder if Marquis going to fall through with that lawsuit or uh, what's going to go on here. Boy. And Harold uh, put in his two cents saying that he told Shotzi that she couldn't even buy a VIP pass to Glamorland off of Craigslist. But coming up next, we got, I guess we got one of Harold's other favorite, favorite wrestlers, or Meacher, going against the Blue Arrow for the Tri American title. And here it is uh, ECW rules no count, no disqualification. And I'll be back. I'm going to go use the facilities real quick while this is happening. All right, uh, back just in time. I, hey, let's get this match going. Can, well, okay, no counts, no disqualification. Could this work in Meacher's court? That's going to be the question. Could Tully once again have two champions in this court? Right now he's got 
Merle and Fisher, who are the MSW Tag Team Champions. Can Meacher bring them some more gold? More question about is, uh, could Evan bring him some more gold when he decides who he wants to wrestle? And there is Meacher right there. Sporting the Diesel look. And of course that is, that has been his look. And Meacher, you know, ever since he's been with Tully Blanchard, he's been, he's been pretty damn successful. He's had a world title reign. Now he's looking to add a Tri-American title reign tonight. Question is, can he go against the so-called giant killer that's named the Blue Arrow? The defending Tri-American champion? Of course, he's going to have to do it without his mentor there at ringside, uh, Tony Blanchard. Yeah, Meacher took on a sour attitude when uh, Adam Strange was MSW champion. And it was after a match where Adam Strange defeated Monica that clobbered Adam Strange. Causing his uh, turn to uh, the dark side. Tully Blanchard's dark side to be exact. And I'll tell you what, man. This should be a great matchup. It was a great matchup before. Unfortunately, I guess uh, Meacher felt cheated because uh, he won by count out. And unfortunately, he could not win the title by count out. Well... He's got, there's no excuses tonight, man. No excuses. Oh, I was talking about you saying that uh, you told Shotzi she couldn't even buy a VIP pass off of Craigslist to Glamorland. That's what it is. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> of course, uh, of course, we forgot that what just got signed here tonight is uh, a matchup between Akira and Shotzi Blackheart. So that matchup is going to happen. <laughs> and of course, uh, of course, uh, Harold was favorite saying about Marquis. Here's a strong, assertive female with a few letters in capital stressing that. Hey, it rhymes with glass. Like I said, this will end the first segment, and then the second segment will have. Uh, Four or five matches on it. We'll have to find out. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Blue Arrow not getting uh, really... Uh, Welcome really well, Darius. He just got dropped. Wow. Oh man, he and he is getting nailed here, folks. I'll tell you how much, man. Yeah, Vampiro 712 was just telling me, I mean, uh, I should say Joe Kenny was telling me, looks like spring has finally come over here in, uh, in Ohio. He's saying it's really nice out here. Yeah, just to let you know, NWA Power is back on the air, I guess, on the Fight Channel, but... Uh, just remember, guys, uh, you got to have a subscription. But, uh, you know, it, look, 
it looks pretty uh it looks pretty promising with everything going on there I'll tell you that much And Misha, man, he just got it rocked with that jawbreaker. I'll tell you, don't underestimate, uh, they said don't underestimate small packages, and that's one of those examples of Blue Arrow. He's knocked off him, uh, quite a few major people, including Mollis Merle and uh, Ash Nugent and Alex Brimstone. Oh, man, uh, what a flying headbutt. Oh, my gosh. Going for the pen. Almost, man. I thought that was it. We got 350 pounds behind that flying head, but knocking somebody as small as uh oh here we go. ME, meet your effect. Oh man. That might be it. Don't be surprised, man. And Meacher wins the Tri American title. Blanchard Enterprises goes from three titles to zero titles and once again two major titles. Blanchard Enterprises kind of reminds you of the Dangerous Alliance in WCW in 1992 and they were a dominant group. Of course one of those guys from the Dangerous Alliance is in Blanchard Enterprises. And I'll tell you that much right now that was a tour de force performance by Meacher and he didn't even need any uh, weapons he was the weapon but Blue Arrow's glorious reign as a uh, Tri-American title is unfortunately over with and we got a new champion by the name of Meacher wow and he's telling to put on the oh wait a minute what, what arrogance man come on this kid used to be nice at one time. What the heck happened to him? I don't know. But nonetheless, he is the champion right now. Mr. Meacher is the Tri-American champion. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be back on here in a few minutes. I, we're going to get one more segment going here. And then we call it a night. And so, maybe, I don't know, maybe, we, like I said, don't be surprised we come up here Friday and have a, uh, another card. So...